Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Voices of the Void. Last time some really crazy stuff happened to us. It's making me more than a little bit paranoid. I mean, I've started to become suspect of every single little thing that happens, every little off detail that I notice. Uh, first of all, because I know that for every detail I notice, there's 50 more that I don't. And also because it, it just seems like... It, it seems like the craziness in this game hides itself so well within the jank, you know? Uh, but we are on day 25 of 30. I believe this game goes up to 30. How's Mars doing these days? It still seems okay. I feel like I really don't check this telescope often enough. Yeah, I'm aware that there's a fairly significant update incoming, and I wasn't sure whether I should wait for it. However, at this stage, this close to the end, we are on day 25. I didn't want to reset all the objects again. I just feel like, even though we're keeping our progress, that would really feel like a major reset to the series. Although I'll certainly be happy to come and revisit things afterwards. So, let's do our usual. We've still got a job to do. And we're going to find ourselves some signals, set those up, and uh, leave it while we sleep. Now one thing you guys had told me is that I should mess around with hooks. Now I have no idea what these do, but they're quite cheap, so I have no problem throwing one in here. And of course, we're going to be ordering ourselves another pizza, because why wouldn't we? However, you also did tell me to order a pumpkin. Now I'm going to wait until we have a bit more money, because... Uh, well, I'm not quite sure what it does, however, suffice to say, it's not for eating. I'm also going to grab ourselves a garbage bag roll, because tomorrow I'm going to go pay a visit to the uh, to the Trash Kingdom in an attempt to make a profit. Honestly, my co-workers leave their money lying on the floor. And I am going to lock these doors simply because of how, uh, simply because of how paranoid I am knowing all this stuff is out here. Before, I considered it, like, you know, too annoying to have to do it every time. However, uh, at this point, at this point, I just don't know what to think. And you guys have been very split on whether, whether the, uh, air vent is still accessible. Oh, no, you know what I, you know what I should do? Uh, I should try the sleeping bag, because you guys have told me that it actually heals, uh, sleep faster than regular sleeping. Hang on. Where'd you go? Right here. We're gonna have a camp out right on the floor of our base. How about that? Uh, it's like childhood all over again. Ooh, that does look faster. Oh, we should have gotten this thing so much earlier. Uh, there were just other things I wanted the whole time. All right, well, that'll be fine for us to grab our things. Now, you did tell me that uh, even though it didn't let me last time, I can actually pick up uh, the rifle that's over at Lima now. We do have to hit Bravo, so we might as well go over there. Uh, you also told me that there's more to be seen at the mysterious green box that we found over by Victor. So both of those are going to be revisited in this part. We've also got our shrimps. And also we have the strange egg still. That weird thing that was left by our door in the middle of the night. I have no idea what this is about. I imagine I can probably eat it. I feel like that would be wasteful. Yeah, but who knows. All I know is that uh, we've got a lot to think about, and we're going to try and get to all of it in this part. Today's job is fairly easy. All they want is two level zero, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, now, as for the other stuff, how do we use these hooks? Ooh, it's like a grappling hook. Yep. Hmm. Not quite sure how this works exactly, but... Ooh, it's certainly interesting. Oh, we probably could have used this to get onto the roof. Much easier than uh, using the garbage. Hang on, wait. Let's see if this works. Yep. Uh, didn't quite make it. Hmm. We can use it to tether ourselves. But I'm not quite sure what the application of that would be. Seems the uh, last of the alien fuel has depleted in our tank. And from now on, we're going to be responsible for that. That's all right. We've got some more. And we need to head for Bravo, which I believe is over in this direction. Hang 
on. See this? Day two, nothing unusual. Wait, this is this is this book. This is the one that we find in the basement. How did this end up all the way over here? Huh. Maybe things got tossed farther than I thought during the uh, during the tractor beam event, but still, that was extremely strange. Now, oh, it seems like you're down. All right, well, we looked out in that regard. Uh, so, you told me that I can pick up the rifle and that it may be important. I mean, we do have bullets. Can we grab you? There we go. Uh, but we don't have any bullets right now, of course. I'll have to get those from the garage bay. I wonder if we can actually order more. But we'll probably want to keep this on our person at all times, right? I mean, who knows when we'll need it. It may be as important as the camera. For as uh, simple as things have been thus far, that could change at a moment's notice. Also, I... I just realized that it seems Rufus's body despawned. That's so sad. Uh, at least we still have the plush. I think it may have been a while since we've been to this one, so let's prepare! No aliens in this one. All right. Even when I'm over it, it still remains a phobia. Now, up towards Trash Kingdom, we have our bags. <laughs> so, let's uh, get started then, shall we? Oh, it is so funny that after all this time, we're finally going to start to tear into this. Oh, we already only have a few left. What just happened? Ugh. Well, that's all of those. And might as well grab you over there, even though we were just here, apparently. We honestly, from this spot, if we just invested in more trash bags, we could probably start a second job as, like, a cleaner. You had said that we are able to bag the gore pile, like uh, regular garbage, but I'm not really sure what the point of that is, or if I'd be able to tell the difference. I certainly don't want to take it with me if it's just going to be smearing everywhere. Uh, but now I'm going to take this moment to just have a quick look around and then head back to base. There's a lot of land I'm sure I haven't seen. And that's something that's kind of nuts about this game, isn't it? I mean, you become so familiar with this area. And yet still, there's so much out here. Well, I was instantly rewarded. Uh, hang on, where's my, uh, where's my camera? Two graves. Although I can't seem to read them. Okay, well, we know that this is right behind, uh, the Trash Kingdom. So maybe let's, uh, maybe let's come back with the shovel later on. We've got plenty of free time now that we've got Kerfus, right? You guys still, uh, bouncing around? To be honest, I prefer you to, uh, what I accidentally turned one of you into. Maybe it's meant to be a statement on how we create our own worst enemies. Or maybe it's a statement on how mannequins are stupid and should go into a wood chipper. That was something you guys suggested, too, that I should buy one of those expensive wood chippers, and then I can actually sell their wooden parts for profit. I don't really feel like doing that right now, but, uh, it is something to think about. Anyway, uh, we've got to get some of these signals going. So, bloop, and bloop, and, uh, as usual, we will save an unknown signal, give it a listen, and be ready to send it out. Kerfus, I wonder, will you actually fix servers around the base as well? Hey, there you are. Uh, packed? Yeah, there we go. And act it. Wait, nope. Uh, uh, uh. I always hit the wrong thing. Uh, use. There you go. Uh, but it seems like you'll mostly work on satellites. That's okay. I'd rather get the points from this, to be honest. Whoa! 
Uh, Kerfus, what, uh, what's going on with you out there? There you go. Wow, I caused some real problems by sleeping at that moment. Uh, Kerfus? There you go. Okay, you figured it out. I was so worried that you just sent yourself up the river. Man, I can't turn my back on you for two seconds. Some of you said that some of the hitching that I was experiencing in the last episode might actually be due to Kerfus uh, running into uh, obstacles and having to redirect their pathfinding. Oh well. Now are you done? The cool thing about having this is that we can sleep just like sporadically wherever. We don't have to really plan around it anymore. Although I do wonder if sleeping doesn't maybe cause Kerfus's batteries to drop faster while not really moving. We also might as well start processing up some of these other signals, since uh, we pretty much have all day. Oh man, we've come such a long way, but uh, I really do feel like something big has to be approaching, right? I mean, it feels like we're in some sort of endgame. As soon as I uh, get a little bit of rest, I'm going to take you out again and go see about those graves. I still don't know what was happening with the one across the river. And let's use you to repair this, because it is finally starting to get pretty low down. Oh, there you are. Uh, good job today, Kerfus. Uh, you're really saving me a lot of time. Uh, something that I should start remembering to do is whenever Kerfus gets back to uh, calibrate these things. Uh, yeah, you're real excited to see the results of your work, huh? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, pet. Pet. And there we go. Oop. This time I saved you from falling down. Let's just wedge you in the corner right there, and that at least uh, eased your dropping. Uh, now, where did your cable go? Yep. And, and yep. Uh, now, some of you said that, uh, I should try to use the, uh, the thick fist. Yep, use for scream, that's what you said. Oh, that is so cool. If I had one of these things, I would be squeezing this thing all day, every day. kidding when you said unknown. Wow. Okay, well, that one's going out. Uh, that's one of the uh, copied ones that we'd processed earlier. I'm just trying to get all these ducks in a row before I send this stuff out. Uh, there is our first metal scrap. Awesome. Yeah, between all this stuff and the garbage, I think we're going to be actually getting quite a bit of a uh, bonus yeah, just from doing our part. It's been a while, hasn't it? A while since we had a moment like this, where we're just kind of like sitting around at our base, looking around at all that's here, waiting for various tasks to complete, but uh, nervous about what might be staring back, although at least since the blue light event we now have some way of seeing what might be in that tree line. Uh, even if I am even more concerned by the dancing shadows created by the tree branches. Well, at least Darwin and uh, his friend, who I have yet to name, are still keeping us company. Uh, they've been some of the only constants in this series. No disrespect, uh, Crypto, Crypto and Paul. Oh. Uh, oh! What? What just happened? I lost sleep from that? I thought you could only have nightmares... I thought you only had nightmares if you were, like, tired. I was at, like, 50-something percent. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that's gonna cost me. Alright, well, uh, uh... Let's, uh... 
I'm really curious about this one. Imagine if we could recycle, like, the bones in this base into something. Maybe we'd get some kind of bonus for uh, finally discovering someone's remains. I mean, a lot of the bones we're finding must be people who've been lost for a long time, right? People aren't even supposed to be here, are they? So on top of everything, now we've discovered space pigeons, and apparently the predators that come to eat them when their song is too irritating. Alright, uh, I think we should send this out, and we will do so with the two level zeros that we need, and all the other level threes that we have. Everything else we'll keep for, uh, for ease of the next one. Okay, so once again, we did not really get a lot of points because we failed the task because it showed up, like, one minute late. Oh my god. I really hate that, like, you need to sleep at times, especially since it robbed me of 20 sleep, and then... And then I did sleep to recover that, so I wouldn't start having nightmares again, and then that meant that the... Even though the drone was already in flight three hours before, I now lose out on that. Alright, I, I tried reloading a save, and now the drone is still coming, but the package is gone? Wait, you did get it? And this time you... I mean, I'll take it. Okay, uh, W-O-T-W will be real. We can't let anybody know about this. I'm deleting the signal off the drive immediately. Do not send something like this ever again. What does that mean, and why are you... You were excited before. What is it that we're seeing that you're not telling me? You didn't even tell me why. This is getting wild, to say the least. But we, we've we got to get some sleep. We desperately need it now, and... I don't know. I don't even know what to think anymore. There's clearly so much that they're not telling me, right? But why is it that they're excited about some things? Like, you would think they would just entirely keep me in the dark or take me off the job, but that's not what happened. It's all starting to feel like some kind of weird Truman Show experiment, like I'm being toyed with one way or another, but never the same way. Look, we've got money in the bank now. And, wow, why does that server, that one server, keep going down? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh, that's the first time I think I've actually been able to see the model of a, of a Firefly. That's interesting, although it's a little bit weird that uh, we've started to see them in here. Well, I suppose not, ever since that vent fell down. Now, some of you told me we can fix that. If we buy a nail, we can use a hammer to, uh, kind of weld it in place. Right now, I'm literally just breaking these things down because their main value is in, uh, these chunks of wood. There we go. I'm gonna have so much to sell. Now, say I did want to load this rifle. How would one actually do such a thing? I'm just busy. But R puts it away, so how do I... Load it! Well, that was quite a thing. Uh... Oh man, Eugene sabotaged it on me. Okay, well, uh, at least I'm just glad that the uh, fuel tank didn't explode. That could have been so much worse. Uh... 
And the, the rifle is gone. Well, we're going to be high and dry in case of a uh, of an alien invasion. Uh, but then again, maybe all I need is a glass of water. Object unknown? Oh, uh, what do you mean, object unknown? That to me looks like a planet. That's a longer one, too. Alright, well, I couldn't tell anything, but, uh... Does look like maybe there's a vague line on the on the signal there. So uh, the fact, the most interesting thing to me is the fact that this is unknown. We've got to start processing this up like immediately. I think that's going to be top priority. Why does this one keep going down? I mean, I'll happily accept the points, but good lord. Uh, now, okay, what do we do first? Do we take this box and sell it, or do we bring our stuff for the day? I think we bring our stuff for the day. And really, all that's going to mean is more garbage bags and one pumpkin. Oh, and you'd also told me to pick up a mop, that it would make things easier to clean, but I haven't seen a mop in the store. Oh, we could get Broomba. That could be a thing. Our task for this fine morning is going to be to head out to Delta, then Echo, and finally Victor, where we still have some unfinished business. Better grab that before we end up uh, having to uh, deal with the roaches. And uh, we'll use the rest of this to pick up a lot of bags later. This place is going to be clean by the end of the series. I will not, even if, uh, uh, assuming we can still keep playing after the final day, I'm not, I'm not stopping until this base is spick and span. That's become my main arc for this. I miss the alien jump scares. I believe it was right around this rock formation somewhere. There's something on the ground there. Oh, there's another tile. Okay, that makes what, number three now? Uh, okay, and, and a note. No, it's just blank. All right, well, it's gonna become a report then. I've managed to go the entire game without having to buy one of these things. Huh. Maybe it has something to do with these? I think I'd, I think I'd seen somebody mention something having to do with, like, a tile and bringing them here. Well, we did find one on the ground, so it would certainly seem to, uh... It would certainly seem to match up. Can't seem to use it on it. What if I... Uh, what if I drop it on the ground? Will that work? Ooh. Okay, one, two, three. Probably nine of these scattered around the map. Okay, we're probably not going to end up completing this. Uh, but we do know what they do now. So that we've got literally just one third of them after traversing this entire place God knows how many times. Uh, but now it's time for us to head on over to X-Ray. Hang on, there's something over there as well. Uh, there's not a whole lot of high ground in the game, but uh, when you do find it, you really need to take a look around, even if most things are going to be obscured by the trees. Hang on, there was definitely something in this direction, right? Uh, I hope it's not something that's outside the map, then we're never going to find it. And we do have that tear in the fence, but uh, navigation past there is a little bit difficult and results in a lot of lost time. I mean, maybe it was just this? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem like what I saw. I thought I was seeing a concrete structure. Maybe it's like a weird, like, level of detail thing? I don't know. Oh, it's all just so dense, I can't see a thing. Wait, no, there, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, sort of out of bounds. And I don't know how to get to it, but it is in there. 
it's just beyond the hatch in the ground. Okay, so I've done, like, I'm pretty sure a complete 360 at this point, and I cannot see any way to subvert this fence. We can't stand on the back of the uh, ATV, and even if we could, we'd have no way of getting back over. But it looks like there's, like, some kind of... Yeah, that is definitely some kind of Stonehenge. Uh, with a whole bunch of crates in the middle. Uh, the mysteries of this park become greater and deeper the longer we spend here. But I think I'm running really low on sleep. I've got to get going. If only I had brought the sleeping bag with me. Hmm, we can't actually pick this up and put it in our inventory. I wonder if we can mount it on the ATV somehow. Uh, no, 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 no. The new one. That's all coming from that unknown red object. An email? Oh, package received. Okay, that's that's the garbage we sent out. All right, never mind. False alarm. Uh, let's see. Can we mount you to the uh, to the thing? I've got the shovel on me and the pumpkin, and we're heading out in the X-ray direction. Uh, if we put you here, no. Uh. I'd really like the ability to do this, otherwise uh, you don't really work in the field. Unless there's something I'm missing, I can't collect you. Oop, nope, not what we want, not what we want. Okay, you'll wait right here for now then. Uh, just check that we've got the shovel and the pumpkin. Now, obviously I'm a little wary of doing this so late in the day. However, even though you didn't tell me what this does, it doesn't exactly take a genius to figure it out. We're trying to bait out that thing I saw before. So let's drop the pumpkin on the ground. And not even gonna bother risking having a bite. Oh my god! Uh, 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 camera, 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 camera. It's not even what we saw before, that was... Uh, well, it was something, and now... And now it's out there. Well, uh, 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 wait. So you just live around here now? Is that just what I've invited into my life? Well, okay. Are we gonna hear you skittering around in the dark when we're out here fixing towers and such? Oh no, uh, well, I just got instant flashbacks to the uh, trench scene in uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong movie. But there's still more to see. Uh, the grave was up on this hill, and the sun is setting and we didn't bring our lantern, because that thing just takes up entirely too much inventory space. Here we are. Why is it that when I discover a grave, my first instinct is to go a robin? Whoops. Now, will it actually dig deeper if I try again in the same spot? No. Hmm, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. And maybe it only works with the metal detector. Maybe digging these up doesn't actually like work. I have to wonder though if we can't maybe sell the dirt. Could that be like an infinite source of income? Kudos to this game though for uh, vowing to simulate everything. We even have like physical dirt that appears when we go to use the shovel. 
Uh, but I don't think we're getting down this far. Not a bad spot, though, actually. It may seem like I'm taking in the moment, but actually, I'm just grabbing a potential thumbnail. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, Darwin! Darwin, you know, you know you're allowed to- come on, stop, stop, stop. You know you're allowed to have friends over, but uh, this is going too far. You have to tell me first. I have to turn around and see a full figure occupying my chair. Where did even this come from? Who can- I- I love how the fact that a fully assembled skeleton that appeared in my chair isn't even, like, the worst part for me. It's the fact that I didn't know about it, that I don't know where they came from, not who put it here. Or who it used to be. Whatever. You know what? I'm used to the weirdness at this point. You can sit over here in the punishment pile where you belong. You don't even get another spot at the desk. We've got... We, we've got enough... Crowding as it is, uh, you know, you let one in and suddenly the whole Bone Brigade is here. Oh, we've got a couple of these things down. I haven't even been looking over here. It's just, as the game has gotten on, I find that uh, I'm more ignoring the servers because it's not as critical to have a constant stream of things going. And beyond that, it's just kind of a case of... Uh, of going out and trying to find all I can before something terrible happens to me, which I still feel like is going to be the case. Yeah, TR2 is actually in desperate need. Uh, we're going to do that sometime during the night. Let's call the drone, and this time not sleep for a little while, since, you know, anything can happen. And I've got about five hours until midnight, which means uh, we are still very much in the danger zone. And let's start looking for more of these. Uh, it definitely pays to be proactive, even if we don't think we'll need it. Uh, just because having a nice stock gives us more time to explore tomorrow. Oh, also, there is something I want to do during the night. Uh, some of you have been telling me to climb the tower, and while you didn't specify, I do think doing so at 333 will probably be the best way. Uh, you know, we haven't actually had a look at our photos yet. Not for a while, anyway. Let's see how some of those came out. Uh, <laughs> I, I love how sensitive it is to blur, even in broad daylight. <laughs> because, uh, look, it fits so well with the themes of this game, doesn't it? I mean, it, it makes you feel like you're all excited when you get a picture. Oh, they have to believe me now. And then all that comes out is like something Bigfoot here. But it makes it even more exciting when you get something truly crazy. Although, to be totally honest, you start to realize only once you're looking at the pictures just how, uh, just how easy to dismiss some of these will be. Force perspective, you can't prove the mannequins are moving. Others are a little tougher to deny. Well, that's unsettling. I'm sure we're just hearing shapes in the clouds, but yeek. This is beginning to creep me out. None of this lines up with any natural phenomenon we'll, we know about, so at least we'll learn something. Hopefully something not terrible. Man. I'm getting like a real disjointed tone from your various emails. Uh, but we've got plenty of points now. Oh, did I leave some bones in the seat? I hate it. I hate it when I forget bones in my computer chair. Why can't we grind this up and make like bread or something?
from an asteroid. Now look, I'm not educated enough to know random signal noise from anything else, but uh, it just seems real disturbing to me, the idea that there could be something alive just sitting on a small asteroid hurtling through space. I suppose that's not all that different from our situation, but uh, that's kind of the opposite of comforting. I feel like we should uh, probably take this moment of downtime before our tower adventure to at least uh, clear some of the worst of the dirt and debris. Uh, some of these stains are so stubborn. <laughs> Which is a thing that I'm worried about in a game about searching for voices of the void. And I don't even blame it. Let's see that shine in the tiles. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's been bothering me this entire time. Uh, but we've got roaches. Oh, is that is that an actual edible uh, piece of food? Okay, yeah, you guys get out of here now. Uh, oh, wait, I can actually... What do you mean I'm not hungry? I can eat the roaches? Would it maybe be better to buy, like, cookies or something and scatter them around the base so that they'll come so that I can eat them? I mean, certain cultures... No, 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 we're not going to talk about this. But certain cultures, right, uh, don't have any of the ick factor when it comes to eating insects. You just ate my soap. Hmm. Well, it's not like I was using it anyway. It doesn't seem like I can clean the shower. It seems like the shower is just forever nasty. That makes me want to wretch. But my character didn't even complain about it. <laughs> Imagine if this were Project Zomboid, I'd be getting the unhappiness moodles. No such thing here. Our character really is a lunatic, and is from the start, to be honest. Uh, what's our job for today? Two level zero, two level one, and one level two. And we only need hotel and golf, which are very close. All right. That means we've got plenty of time for shenanigans. You know, we've had a lot going down lately, Kerfus. Uh, we untoggled you. Activate uh, Pat. And uh, I need you to... I need you to go out and do servers. Yep, something is definitely down. Meanwhile, I've got a date in the clouds. Let's get up there, making sure not to waste any battery. I still don't know where these benches came from. I can't remember for the life of me if they were down here before, but they just seem to appear wherever those mannequins were. Climbing up here at night. I haven't done it since the beginning of the series, but as I said then, I don't like heights at the best of times, and there's something about the way this is done that really emphasizes the height of it all. I know it would be smarter to do this without the flashlight, but I just can't bring myself. And ever since crazy things started happening, maybe we'll see something. There's smoke burning off that way. Okay, uh, we gotta, we gotta go. I had brought a clock up here to wait for 3:33, but no, we don't, we don't have time for that. Oh, we can eat this as well. Huh, I didn't realize that was edible. Okay, off in that direction. Oh! Ah! Get out of here, you. Oh, this was not the time. All right, we're heading out there now. We do not have enough fuel for this. We gotta order more. But we also don't have enough time to be picky. All right, let's get out there quick as we can, then. We don't want to miss this. I can just barely see it silhouetted against the sky. Oh, we don't want to hit anything. Uh, we don't want to hit anything in the road. That would be awful. What's over here? I think we must be getting close. Whoa! Uh. Ah! Uh. 
Let's make sure we're standing absolutely still. What is this? Two things. These are in the shape of what we saw the other night. Are these maybe like craft that were like cloaked or something? What is all this? What is this? Use. Oh, it's like a portable light. And what is this? This thing is too hot. We can't pick it up. And these? Uh, honestly, they look like uh, they look like seats for a sick bachelor pad more than anything. Oh, but what is? Look at this. Oh, it's like somebody was building some kind of tree fort too. This is incredible. It's like two two craft parks side by side. But why was there smoke coming from? Oh wait, no. This isn't the source of the smoke. This is a campfire. Uh, were there some unfortunate campers who happened to be here when they came down? Uh, can we relight this? No, it doesn't seem so. Oh my, this is incredible. That's it. If they don't believe us after this, I don't know what else to do. Uh, okay, um... Honestly, I, it's redundant at this point, but... There can't be anything left over. We need all the pictures we can possibly get. We can't interact at all. Uh, can we actually climb up here? It looks like there might be something on top. Maybe we can stack these things? What is this? Can't collect it either. Oh, I love this. I love this about, like, alien stories. The idea that we have these objects here that we can't even fathom what they do. There's some kind of crate up there. Perhaps this could be a use for the... No. Perhaps this could be... No. Perhaps this could be a use for the hook. Like, if we can get an angle on it, maybe we can, like, pull it down or something? I don't know how this works exactly. Mm, doesn't seem so. Not that I can really be sure that I grabbed it. Uh, but I can drag you this way. Well, that's one way to get things done. Is there perhaps reason to buy more of them? Doesn't really seem to work on heavier objects, though, which I imagine this thing is. Okay, we're gonna keep this in mind. Oh, what are you doing here? Stop trying to steal the spotlight one type of story at a time. Actually, screw it. You're getting beaten to death with a crowbar. I'm kind of done with you guys now. Alright, I have a feeling that this stuff isn't going to be here come morning. But we will have a check anyway just to see. So that's that. There's absolutely no denying what we saw. Even though I'm sure they'll still find some way to do so. Uh, I'm going to order a coffee chocolate bar, simply because uh, I feel like that'll help us get ahead on sleep. Have you been stuck here this entire time? Get out of here. Oh, no, 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 I need you to, I need you to, I need you to, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I really need to untoggle your cord. Uh. There we go. Oh, we can actually use the fridge as a stopper. You don't know that it's there. All right, well, lesson learned. Goodbye. Now you'd also explain to me how we can use the cameras, and there is our night vision mode. Uh, it's just not really very good. Alright, so that's how we can see the towers out there. We can see what uh, Kerfus sees. Wow, it is really not very good, but look at Kerfus race through the forest like that. Huh, imagine all the things Kerfus must see out there that we don't. Anyway, though, oh wow, we can even watch in real time, like on the screen. Look at look look at him, look at him run straight into the base of the tower. A go-getter, if I ever saw one. 
But you know what? I think I'm going to do something here that I don't usually do. And cut this a little short. Because look, I have a feeling there's only going to be... Ah, oh, you're stuck. Good job. Well, now i got to figure out where you are. Uh, I can actually see that smoke plume in the distance. So that helps, I suppose. But I'm going to save this for next time because I have so much advice to ask for and I don't want to wait until this whole thing is already said and done. So I'll upload this a little bit earlier and it'll be a little bit shorter. Lord knows you've waited long enough for these parts. But until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you, this is so exciting, in the next one.